Hey guys! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my French tip nails. I actually had a couple of you guys ask me to do this tutorial, so here I am. Everything that I used in this video and that you'll need will be listed on the screen here, and I will also list everything down in the description box below. So let's get started. So what you'll need for doing your French tip is your base color of choice your French tip color of choice. Now I'm gonna be doing these three colors, but I'm gonna be using white as the base for them. That way the color pops more. A dish to put your polish on and a striping brush. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my base color. Now, sometimes what some people will do is they'll actually apply their base color after doing their French. Now this really depends on if you're doing like a classic white French tip. Sometimes people don't like the very bright white. They like it to be dulled down a little more. So they'll put their base color on afterwards. Now I don't do that simply because a lot of the times I do colored French tips rather than a classic French tip. So I normally do my base color first and then I do my French tip, but it is really all up to you. So I'm going to apply two coats of this and I will be right back. So I've applied my two coats and now I'm going to take this little dish and my color. Now I will say this, I am using gel polish to do this, which makes French tips easier to do with gel polish. You can use, do this method with nail polish, but you can't really take your time when you're using nail polish simply because it dries in the air whereas with gel polish it doesn't dry until you cure it so you can do this method with nail polish but you'd have to be very time sensitive with it and i do want to just say this real quick this method may not work for everybody this is a method that i came across on instagram and i gave it a try and the more times i practiced doing this method the easier it got. And I have found this method to be the easiest way to do French tip, but that doesn't mean that this method is going to work for everybody. However, I do recommend that you try it, you practice it a couple of times, and if you find that it really doesn't work for you, then at least you tried it before just assuming that it wouldn't work for you. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just coat your brush a little bit, not too much though. You're going to do a line roughly where you want your curve to end and then you're going to take two more lines and draw them down to your middle line. And then you're going to start connecting them. And then of course you can fiddle with it and make it look the way that you want to. Now, I like my French curves to be very curved. Some people like them to be a little more flat. So in that case, you would basically kind of just do like a straight line and then just do little like curves at the end. But it really all depends on what you like. I personally like more curved French tips. So this method is more for people who like that kind of look, that kind of curved French, very curved French tip. This is very hard to do in frame. So I apologize that I keep going out of frame. Thank you. 
But once it's to your liking, then you can fill it in. And if it's a bigger nail like this, you can just use a brush that's in the bottle. You just have to be very careful with it. And with filling this in, you don't want like a crazy ton of product on your brush. And then you would just wait for this dry. If you're using nail polish, if you're using gel polish, you would then cure it and then do your second coat. Now, if you make any little mistakes, like I have a little divot, like a little dip here that I'm not happy about. It's not very noticeable, but I'm a perfectionist. So if you do make any little mistakes that you don't really like, um, if you're doing this with nail polish, you would want to use nail polish remover, not acetone. And if you're doing this with gel, you would want to take um, some rubbing alcohol. But I'm actually just going to use a dry brush. I'm just going to very carefully clean that up. And then of course you can go back and fiddle with it a little more and whatnot. Once you have finished adding however many coats of your color and you've let it dry, you can then add your top coat. Once your nails are all top coated and dried, you can then add cuticle oil. So that is how I do my French tip nails. If you guys like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys get notified as new videos that I upload. If it even works, and if it doesn't work, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I update you guys as new videos that I upload, but that's also where I share my work that you guys normally wouldn't see here in these videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.